Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So today, I thought we'd talk about EDC pocket notebooks. What I've tried and what I'm using now and different ideas. Um, I like to have a you know notebook or something to take notes on. Whether it be like a, a shopping list, a to-do list, um, measurements, you know. If I'm, I'm out looking for something for the house and it's got to measure a certain dimension, I can write down that dimension. Or if I find something, I can write down that dimension, come home and check, see if it, it'll work. Stuff like that. Um, I like to, I like doing the to-do list and writing down things I want to get done and checking things off. So, <clears throat> you know. One of the big things in the EDC community is carrying a little notebook like field notes. Um, I got tons of these. I got a bunch of stuff written in this one. I got, I don't know, geez, seven, eight pages and then the rest are blank. Then I, I moved on to these little spiral notebooks, which are kind of nice. They tear out easy. You really can't tear a page out of these. Um, and they get beat up. You know, you stuff these things in your back pocket. They get beat up. But yeah, you, you can't really tear a page out of, it, out of that. These are easy to tear out. But you get all kinds of... You get all the frayed paper up here. And, and then the spiral binding here gets crushed and you back pocket um, these are just three by five this one's from Walmart I don't know where this one's from but different ones I've tried um, cheap these are cheap you know field notes are not expensive either but yeah they just get so beat up I've tried you know different things I got right in rain books which are nice um, but same issues although these have a better cover they're more more durable so they're not bad I tried micro notes from by Paca um, this is one I keep in my my little pouch possibles pouch and I have a few band-aids stuffed in there keeps band-aids a lot of time I had band-aids stuffed in these notebooks also um, field books same almost the same as field notes field notes are USA made made in USA these are printed in China um, man I've gone so far got a cool leather cover for field notes and field books and books like that um, I got this off Etsy. It's quite expensive. It's got an R kind of branded on there. It, you know, it's initial my last name, so I thought that was cool. Carried this in my back pocket for a while. Kind of a little bit too much. Um, then I came across people using index cards, note cards, regular 3x5 index cards you can get anywhere Walmart dollar stores they're cheap um, so I tried different things with that I tried the hipster PDA bunch of cards with a binder clip um, it kind of works but again these these get beat up in your pocket I just get all bent and but tried that I tried making little smaller ones a little easier to carry that kind of work um, these were larger larger index cards I think I cut them in half so they're a little bigger um, then I had this wallet I cut some cards put them in here um, 
works pretty good. It's actually kind of hard to slide the cards in and out of the leather. Kind of grabs hold of it. But that, that works. So I kind of came up with that idea. Then I started searching for something else. And I found this Oxford. It's called the, the Oxford at hand note card case 3x5 and um, I've been using this for a while now and I'm, I'm really liking it I'm, I like how this works how it holds the index cards and I think the index card system whatever way I do it is working out pretty good I can fill out a to-do list, a daily list. I have like routine stuff. Um, you all know I'm retired. My wife works. So every day I dishes, laundry, sweep the floor. I'll cook dinner most of the time. Today it's just, just hamburgers. And then I put big ones, you know, the one, two, three, four things I really want to get done. And today I had re-mow the front yard. I was going to mow it. I just mowed it a couple of days ago, but I had to do it so high because it was too tall. I was going to lower it down and do it again. I did part of it, so I'm not done. And I have video, record a video, edit and upload. Um... So I'm doing what doing one right now, and and this other side um, schedule or calendar. If I have an appointment or need to help someone or do something, I write that off to the side. Have the back side of it for notes. Like if I wrote go shopping, I can write a list on the back of it. Um, pretty cool. So you have this front cover, which I keep a couple couple cards right in there. It just tucks in, just like that. Um, you can hold like 25 um, sheets in, in the middle here. That's getting it kind of tight. I think I have maybe, I don't know, 12, so I can, if I want to write a note, write something down, I can write it, slip it in the back. Um, yeah, then this side, you can also put a index card, which I find a little difficult. That's the only, by the time you get that in, you got, got the card all bent up. So, I don't always have a sheet in that section as a pen holder I have an old light mini old pen right there that's perfect um, but yeah this has been working out pretty good this fits in my back pocket or the cargo pocket you know if I have cargo pants or shorts on rides right in there and yeah having something I need something to write notes down and if I don't write down what I'm supposed to do today, I'll I'll do something completely different that doesn't need to be done. Where I should be doing, so, you know, one thing, getting that done, or I'll forget to do something. I'll go to the store. I'll forget half of the things I go to the store for. I can't remember numbers to save my life. So if if I'm like gonna replace a window got one that's broken and I see a, a window at a rum sale or someplace and it's like will that fit I don't know take the measurements come home go to measure the what you know the thing whatever it may be and I can't remember what it was you know I have me personally I need to write stuff down and the note cards, the index cards, are working really good. Um, <clears throat> just an example, a couple of examples, you know. 
I have an idea for a video. I'll make a note. I'll slip it in here. Later in the day, I have a little box right here. I'll put it, I'll file it. Um, right now, I, I have a list. Because we'll watch, you know, video on what movies are being released for this month, you know, on YouTube. You know, being released on Netflix or Prime or whatever. And I put these in backwards. So I, I have kind of a running list of movies I want, I find, you know, looks interesting. Um, like one... Knock at the Cabin, it's on Peacock, has Dave Bautista, Rupert Grant in it. You know, I'll write that down. Um, da, 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 da. Hypnotic, that looked pretty good. William Fickner, Ben Affleck, Jeff Fahey, you know, so I know, I have an idea who's in it. Killer Joe, Matthew McConaughey, Thomas Hayden Church. So, I have that in there. Um, I actually have a scorecard. My granddaughter has a ring toss game. So, I was keeping count. I's for Iris. G's for Grandma Lori. And then, Grandpa, you know, right here's me. We didn't end up playing, but I have that in there. So, that's, that's the kind of stuff I like to do. And with these, you just can't tear anything out, and they do get beat up. These things, you can tear paper out, and um, but they get beat up. I like, this has been working pretty good. And um, just to kind of show you some other things, I got a, a spot here in this little index card book or box videos to do ones I want to do video ideas random ideas craft ideas home projects to do I got a whole list of home projects projects to do here's the one movies and TV shows so I fill that that one card up I'll put that in there easy to come to Refer, you know, how many pe how many of you get on Netflix or Prime and and you searching for a movie for half an hour and end up not watching anything because you can't decide? Well, I have a list of things I want to see, and when I'm done, I've been just putting them in here. When this gets filled up, you know, I'll I'll file them in the garbage can but I can also go back I got everything dated see what I did when I did something whatnot but yeah that's just what I've been doing what's been working for me this thing I got off Amazon for ten dollars and ninety nine cents I think it's a little bit expensive for what it is but it's held up good it is, um, it looks like leather, it's pleather, you know, plastic leather, fake leather, faux le leather. Um, but it's holding up good, keeps the index cards in good shape. And, like I said, it fits in my back pocket, fits better without a pen. Um, but I can carry it that way, fits in cargo pockets. I'll carry it, put, you know... Just like this, I'll carry it with me in the store, have it, check off items as I get them. And yeah, that's just, this just been working good for me. And I thought I'd kind of share it. Um, I may come back and go over exactly what I do, how I keep track of stuff. But other than that, I guess that'll do it. Um, let me know in the comments what, if you carry a notebook of some kind, if you carry field notes, cheap spiral books, index cards, moleskin books, whatever. Um, but yeah, for now, this is working out pretty good. So I guess that'll do it. Do use a like, comment, subscribe. And until next video, bye.